This conference will now be recorded. Hi, everyone. Okay, so let us come back to the UAR session. So in the previous two sessions, we have seen two parts. The first part is what are the parameters requisite for the UAR uh, configuration. And then second part is like regarding how to enable the workflow related to UAR. So that is the second video. You can check my earlier videos. And now this is going to be the third video where we will be talking about the UAR request type. So what exactly is this UAR request type? Whenever a UAR request is generated, we will see how to generate the request letter. But first, this is the prerequisite. The configuration has to be done beforehand before we generate the UAR request. So whenever, suppose you are submitting a, in for, for example, in access request, we have different types of request types, like new account, change account, delete account, etc. Right. But now, when you come to UAR category or UAR workflow, we have only one request type, which is dedicated to UAR type. So when we generate the request, that particular request type gets enabled. So when request is generated, we can see in our working box with the heading called as a UAR review. The request type is called as UAR review. So let us see that. So as per this diagram, you can see here, we will we'll go into the path later. But before that, so we have different types of requests like new account, change account, delete account. These are all related to access requests, okay? But now this one is related to UAR review. So this is the request type 11, which is SAP delivered standard one. We can use the same thing for our workflow to be enabled. Okay, so let us go and check in our system whether this is available or not. So I'm logging into GRC system. Let's go to NWBC. Under NWBC, where the request types are configured. Under GRC, Access Control, User Provisioning. Under User Provisioning, Define Request Types. So there are already, these are delivered by a BC set. All the request types, standard request types are delivered by BC set. So the first, the first up, up to six are related to access request. And then we have different types of request types here. Let me show you the BC set which is related to this request types. So the BC set we can open up through SCPR20 transaction, SCPR20. This is a transaction. And now when you are searching, always try to search with the GRAC. So you will get the complete list of BC sets related to GRAC word. And here you can find something related to request type, this one. GRAC access request request types. So you can click on display and check this information. So you will have the complete list of request types available and are that, that are delivered. So when this active, when we activate this BC set, these request types will fall into your respective location in SPR over here. So in case if you don't find the request types here or it is empty, the table is empty, you have to go and check uh, and this BC set is, has to be activated. 
okay so this is all different part they come under different part area so that is a prerequisite once we activate then only you can see these entries and in these entries i am only concerned with this entry now which is related to uar review uar review and it is correctly mapped with the process id grac user access review so we have a separate workflow types so each request type is mapped to appropriate process id msmp process ids so this is correctly mapped in case it is not correctly mapped you need to ensure that this 11 or uar review request type is mapped to this process id okay so this is the first thing and what is the actions that under this particular request type let us see the actions so we don't have any actions defined here that def that that will be defined directly by the system we will see that we don't need any actions here as such but when you go to new account we have the actions here create user and all those stuff but for uar review we don't have any predefined action that action will be decided by the reviewer what action needs to be taken place right so this is the first thing we should take care of about the request types now coming to second second thing what is the second thing after this request types and the below parameter is set to so once you are done checking that request type there is also a parameter related to this request type that parameter is 2004 parameter is set to 11 as per the above screenshot so here you can see the screenshot 11 is UAR request type so let us go and check so earlier we have already seen this for defining the approvers who is the reviewer who will be acting as a reviewer now we are going back to that particular area so here you can see there are parameters related to UAR review this is this is the parameter exactly it is pointed to 11 request type for uar so 011 refers to uar review so it is pointing correctly and then this is what we have taken let me change it to manager i'm i will take as a manager role owner we have two reviewers this we have seen in the first session okay let me save this okay i am also defining this admin review as no we will see that in separate session about the admin review part i will take it as no here and a default priority it is given okay that's fine that doesn't make any impact for us so all the necessary parameters are set now for uar review So it is getting in a trans transport request right the data has been saved so this is the area about request types configuration especially for uar point of view okay so we have to go part by part so next we will see how to generate uar request how the uar request will be generated in the next session right thanks everyone see you all in the next session